Hey guys, I have another um, video for you on how to make a uh, another type of fish hook. This fish hook is called uh, a gorge. It's not really. It's actually. It's not really a hook. It's um, it's a gorge. Which um, I have this piece of bone here. Um, it actually looks like a fish hook, but I'm not using it to make a hook, making a gorge. So it's kind of look basically like this. I have a piece of bone I just found on the ground, actually just like this. Um, you could use any piece of bone, um, and it's going to be straight like this, and it's just pretty straight. It's going to have really pointy edges, and when you um, attach bait to it, you attach the line, um, and I'll show you how to do, guys how to do that. And when you put the bait on it, and the fish swallows it, it toggles in their throat, and actually gets it gets lodged in their throat, and then you have your fish. So. Um, the first thing I need to do is um, grind this down into the points and get this piece off and clean it up. Alright, so now what I have to do is I have to take this piece of bone and I have to grind it down. And I have this rock for that. And you could just get a nice flat rock that um, is really coarse because you're going to want to grind it. Um, but this rock, I couldn't find any so this rock um, isn't flat or really coarse so I'm just gonna get an edge I have a good edge right there and I'm gonna take the bone and all I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna do that and it, it's getting stuff off and then you know if, if one edge gets dull which it's not but I can just I can just move over here and just grind it down like that and then I'm gonna need to um, break this part off which I could just hit it with a rock on another rock like this just break it off like that and then um, just grind down the edges like I'm doing right now pretty good then um, we'll be good to go oh, I finished grinding down my throat gorge took about 40 minutes because I had to use a rock but if you had a file or something like that sandpaper would take a lot less time but you want it to be slender like this and you want the edges to be very pointy because when it goes in the fish's mouth and tries to come out you want it to really dig into its flesh and these were used to catch um, bottom feeding fish like flounder um, but you can also use it to catch fish like trout um, and the way they the Native Americans attached it, and other people attached it to it. Um, all I've seen are pictures of how they attached the the leader, which was usually um, like sinew to it. So I didn't exactly know, but I kind of came up with my own way, and it looks exactly like how they did it. So it might be how they did it. Um, and <clears throat> to show you that, I have since it's hard to see on something that small. Um, I'm just going to use this big stick to represent the throat gorge and this to represent the leader. So if you know how to tie a noose then you'll be fine because it's very very similar. So what you do first is you make this S or backwards S and you just you know you can flatten it down so there's three layers and then put it on the gorge, which is the stick, and you want this this end to be pointing to your left, and this long end, which will attach to your line, because this is the leader, you want it to go to your right. So then what you do is you take this loop, and you just want to make sure you put it over the end, like that. Um, and this end's going this way. And then what you do is you take this, and you wrap it, you want to make sure it's behind this loop to kind of hold the loop in place. So just like that. You can see I wrapped it behind this the loop and I wrapped it twice and then you just keep wrapping towards keep wrapping towards the other side. Just like this. And you keep on wrapping until you get to the end of the loop or the end of the string 
And so then what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this loop, which is the one I, I just wrapped around, or just the end, which I wrapped around, and going to stick it through the loop. So through the loop, just like that. And then um, this, this loop has two ends, and one will pull this, and one will pull to tighten this loop. So you just want to make sure you know which one is which. So I'm just going to pull on this one, and it's going to tighten the loop, just like that. Which then holds this in place. So then all you have to do is you can just trim this off and cut it off so it's not even there. And then what you want to do is you want to take this, and you want to pull it, which tightens this loop. And then just pull it tight. And then you can just trim this part off, like that. And then there you go. It's attached to the throat gorge. And this is not going to go anywhere. It is, it is super tight. And then you throw your throat gorge in the water. And this looks exactly like the pictures of how the Native Americans used to tie it. Um, it's a little, this is a little messy. I could have done a better job. And I forgot to just mention that, I forgot to mention that, um, this, this part, the string you attach to, you can just do a little figure, double figure eight loop. This is a loop at the top. And then you attach your, your thicker line, which for them was usually cedar bark. Um, you attach it to that, and then this is your leader, which is usually sinew. So, I just forgot to mention that little thing.